Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to Toy Monsters Overview. I mean, <laughs> there is clearly a fine line between inspiration and literally copying the concept. Most of the gaming folk know that Plants vs Zombies was the original and then a lot of other versions transpired from it and now we're seeing that in VR. Well technically MR but apparently it also offers the immersive mode on top of the optional control support instead of head tracking so I'm kinda going in a different direction of this video. I mean it is a graduation from Apple Lab, but at what cost? <laughs> so Toy Monsters is a tabletop tower defense game where you need to defend yourself against the monster's invasion by utilizing the star power to place the magical defenders and protect your realm before it's too late. The trailer is clearly showing off the hand tracking and mixed reality features, but me, I'll go with different directions just to have some variety in the gameplay perspective. Aside from very clear inspiration that everyone will pick on, we've not had anything like that on the store, the problem is that it just screams mobile gaming industry and for our platform it doesn't really make sense because getting into the headset is already a struggle instead of picking up your phone and I don't really see myself going out of my way to play this game unless I'm doing some kind of actual work with VR and I need some kind of a small break in between. Cutesy and cartoony art style, there's not much to talk about really. I wouldn't say the overall set of characters is cohesive like every single one is representing a different story and the main thing revolves around around placing defenses in straight line with special abilities and statistics to kill the monsters all across a bunch of levels and that's pretty much it. So I would treat it as a more mini game release rather than something, well not serious, but a lighthearted experience that doesn't really go deep into the overall concept. I don't expect much from it simply because it might be too simple for my taste, but a release is a release and it has to be done regardless. Let's go defend our territory. <laughs> I guess we're starting with mixed reality, then later I'll try to switch. I mean, I instinctively collect this because in Plants vs Zombies it was just sunlight, but the same principle. There's also a cooldown and stuff. You can speed up even. And that's it, like, there's not that much else going on. Okay, so like, more frequency. I want a menu. There we go, and... I mean, I don't know what I expected, honestly. It is rather basic, like, there's no denying that. So we first need to unlock the monsters, I suppose by just progressing. And here are the descriptions of what I do. Yeah, like it's simple enough, just play and enjoy, I suppose. No. It's like I would be in a game player back in the day on websites. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, and I can't switch the positions. Can I like destroy the buildings though? That would be handy to fastly switch. Oh, I can stun them. That's cool, I suppose. I don't know what's the HP of the buildings too. There could be some nice QL changes. It's like the video can be just literally a few minutes and you'd get the point across. <laughs> And it's one shotting. I mean, that could be a nice tactic to store up enough stars. The cooldown is really long, though. I don't know what's the time of arming though. There could be some deeper tactics going on, but I'm just playing around. I don't necessarily like that you can't necessarily tell in what line they're going because it's not the same path. It's like details, I know, but they do matter in the long run. Oh, we even have some player interaction besides the stunning. Diamonds, though? Is there like a cooldown or... Maybe it's time based? I don't know. I can't really tell. Yeah. 
But do I pay with anything? Like, it doesn't seem like it. I'll play maybe two more, we'll see. There's no point in like prolonging though. Aha, uh -huh, so... The other level was just specific for this mechanic. Maybe I'll do like a full lane of resources and then just attacking. Clutch moments. Okay, well, I get it, of course. Like I mentioned before, this is cute and all, but I don't know if it's necessarily something for our platform. Like, yes, you have the full immersive mode, then switch to MR, then hand tracking if you want. But this is something that's like really needed out there. Considering the project, it's very straightforward. I don't know if the previous mental experience of Plants vs Zombies helped me, but a tower defense at heart, depending on the strategies and how you can work it out on the battlefield. Maybe honestly too pricey. I know it's already like 15 bucks or whatever, but it seems lower in terms of the features at least. This is not something that I'm gonna like play because there are way bigger things in terms of concept. I don't know, maybe there's a niche audience for this, but... I'm gonna pass even though it's fine enough. <laughs>